Do you know that this market where I'm standing here is the biggest fish market in Akwaibum? And not just Akwaibum, in Africa. Let's go and explore it together. Let's check this Ibono fish market in Akwaibum state together. Ibono market. Ibono, Okay, Ibono. Come with me, let's visit the largest fishing settlement on the Nigerian coast, the Ebono Fish Market. I know you've seen me do video on the Epe Fish Market and probably you might think that Epe Fish Market is the largest fish settlement but according to Wikipedia, Wikipedia define this locality, Ibono, local government as a whole, as the largest fishing settlement in the Nigerian coast. So join me as we take this drive together to this fishing settlement. Kindly stay to the end of this video as we do this together. We took a bike from Eset Eket, which is the local government also, in this axis down to this Ibono village or this Ibino local government. On the way, I discovered that we have a couple of oil company around these houses. And one thing that I can give a private state as you owe is the good road network within these houses. It's not just OU as you owe, other local governments also have good road network. And to blow your bubble, the fact is this, even villages have third road to the village. That is one thing that the previous government, all the way from Ata down to Apabio, down to the current governor and the previous governor, they, they actually did this way. Good road network is one thing you cannot take it from Aquaibum as a whole. Okay, one three, right? One three, yes. It's one three. One three. This thing is called what? Baby. A pie. A pie. Yeah, snake fish. Snake fish, snake yeah. Snake fish, if you see it, um, if you see it, the real one is very long like this. And it moves like snake. This very fish. This mm. we get this well well. This one here, this one here moves like snake in the water. It's called snake fish. Snake fish but huh? in our dialect, even on here, Edo in ya. Edo in ya. Edo. This is Ethio. Ethio. <laughs> and it's shark. <laughs> <laughs> all of these, there's 3,000 in all of this. In Ibo Ramaki. 13 sticks. 13 sticks. 33,000 naira. 33,000 naira. For the three ten thousand now. Each three thousand. How many? Three thousand for for this each. I'm see at the Ibono market. 
we are still here trying to make sure that we buy fish, the biggest fish um, market in Aquaibo. Let's do this together. Okay, 17,000 naira for 20 pieces of this. So we decided to buy bag that's going to bag all the fishes. Mm. This crayfish depot. Wow. Seven thousand naira. Wow. Today is where people actually come for fishing. Like, um, you can check, you can see Ghana flag, you can see American flag there. So, depending on those that are fishing, too wide there. We have so many canoes, that's why in water because there's no fuel. No fuel. <laughs> So the <laughs> Ibono town is located in the south of Nigeria. It is a local government area of Akwaiwom state. Ibono town lies on the eastern side of the Kwa Ibom river, about three kilometers from the river mouth, and it is one of the largest fishing settlements on the Nigerian coast. Ibono lies in the mangrove forest belt of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. It's bounded by the west by the eastern Ibolo local government and to the north by the Onna Eset Eket and the Eket and to the south by the Atlantic Ocean. The prime occupation of people around these houses is fishing and petty trading and also the presence of exploration activity by the oil giant the Exo Mobi and other company around this activity both for the upstream and for the downstream. Before we go further in this video, I want to show you a property which is in the city of Uyu which you should not miss for anything. Watch this video. I'm here with the managing director and he's here to, she's here to tell us about this estate. So let's yeah. hear from her. My name is Imo Essien. I am the managing director of Genem Brokerage and Properties. I am here at our estate, the Diamond Vale Estate, here located at the Udom Boulevard, also known as the Airport Road in the city of Uyo, Akwaibom State. Here is the estate in Uyo. Uyo is not Lagos, but Uyo is the new Lagos. Mm. So I think you should invest in properties in the city of Uyo, especially in these prime locations, which is the Airport Road, very close to the airport. Landmarks here are very solid we have the dakada luxury estate we have the southern atlantic I mean, university the airport is just five minutes drive from this property five minutes drive to the airport 10 minutes drive to the main town the Uyo city so we also have the southern atlantic university here is a landmark we have the full life camp ground of course i know you've been hearing of that the full life campground is very just a two minutes drive from this property and we also have a popular hotel going on so you know we are talking about juicy offers here a whole lot of properties are available here so i'm really saying you should invest in diamond vale estate today how much is it going for properties here is going for 2.5 million naira for a standard 500 square meters we have a two month payment plan and we have a three months payment plan what are you supposed to do grab on this offer and invest 
in Uyo Akwai Bom State, the new Lagos. Mm. So let's continue the video. So we are in the Ibono market. Ibono yep. market. Yep. We just bought this fish for thirty thousand naira. Yep. So all of this thirty thousand naira, thirteen sticks. Back in the days, this will not reach that amount to but anyway. Then I get on it. I'm right where in Ibono where they usually fish. This is me here <laughs> where they usually fish in Ibono. This is Ibono River. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm so even if you dilute it with um. they use it to dry the fish. Different types. But this is the flag This is a natural flag now. My name is Dennis Aesong from landproperty.ng. What we do, we help Nigerians in diaspora to own property right here in Lagos and in Akwaibo and other states. So if you are looking at getting property around this Aziz or around Akwaibo as you owe or Lagos or other states, feel free to contact us. Let's assist you in making that happen. Thank you for staying to the point of this video. We appreciate you so, so much. If this video make value to you, kindly ask a question below, kindly comment below, and also kindly share this video. And I know you'll be glad that you do if you actually share this video. Nigeria as a whole is blessed. And let me also let you know this. There's something called the brackish, which is the, the mixture of fresh water and salt water. And the second largest brackish habitant in the world is in Nigeria and it's actually in Niger Delta. And the fact is this, this is the place where you can find more of shrimp and pranks more. And according to the federal data of fishing, it said that this particular fish and prank is largely produced in the Niger Delta. And Ibono, fish farm if you come here you're going to see so many crayfish <laughs> you're going to see so many pranks you're going to see several of them and this is what they mainly do in this town seven thousand now mm -hmm. right how many pieces <laughs> and this was this was two thousand six hundred this one two thousand six hundred mm -hmm. yes <laughs> yeah, this was 17,000 naira. And this was 17,000 naira. This 11,000 naira. 11, 11, 11, that's 22, 15,000 naira. This one is 15,000 naira. Yes. 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira. So this is 15,000 naira. 15,000 naira for all the stockfish. 